Do you know what baseline data is? Do you know why it's important in the medical world? This is Neurodiversipedia, and we're going to talk about it. Baseline data is like a before picture for somebody who's working with special needs children. They use this data, this information that they collected before they start practicing a new skill or running through a new trial or doing a new test. They use this data as a marking point to see progress. We can say, hey, Timmy started here where he could only say 10 words. That's his baseline. And now, a month later, Timmy knows 60 words. So since his baseline of 10 words, He's now learned 50 more, and he's made progress throughout the time working on that new skill. So how often should baseline data be collected? Well, if you are in a new therapy setting or doing a new test or testing a new drug, whatever it might be, if you are in a scientific field that requires you to track progress, you should take a baseline. The baseline data should really include a clear starting point. You want to be as sure as possible how much progress the child has made throughout whatever that new skill is that they're learning. This could include standardized test scores. This could include video models of behaviors. So you can say, this is what it looked like before, and now this is what it looks like after. Baseline data isn't just used in special education fields. It's used in all of science. Did that help you understand the term? If yes, give us a thumbs up or subscribe below. If it didn't, then leave us a comment and tell us why. What are we missing? We always want to do better. This is a project by Goalie. Check us out at getgoalie.com.